Ubisoft is not looking so good at all between the colossal nightmare of what's going on with Assassin's Creed Shadows and the Yasuke black samurai who is actually a retainer and not really a samurai and all of the cultural inaccuracies within that and the fake non-apology which if you want to see my videos on that I've covered it at length but also now <laughs> with their Star Wars Outlaws that looks like a mess. Doesn't look fun. The main character has definitely an uglified version of the beautiful model that they hired. So not only does the game look ugly, but it apparently plays very ugly as well. So let's go ahead and dive into this video. This comes to us from that part place uh, in this article says after Ubisoft refused to fix massive AI and graphics issues for Star Wars Outlaws, a new clip shows just how terrible the game is, which I did want to share here. Uh, Dread Roberts says they're praising the combat while showing us the worst combat scene in video in a video game in years. I'm so confused. And then we have Manga Lawyer here who shows IGN on Star Wars Outlaws final preview journalist. I'm having a blast with Star Wars fighting mechanics. Video game, video, game completely broken beyond belief and NPCs wondering what the heck am I doing here? So let's go ahead and watch this. As such, the blaster battles felt like they had meaningful stakes and the stealth gameplay oh had a bit of weight to it because I knew that I That's loud, okay. Well, <laughs> this looks terrible. As such, the blaster battles felt like they had meaningful stakes and the stealth oh, gameplay the had a bit the of AI weight to it because so I knew confused. that I'd be up against it. As oh, such, the blaster battles goodness. felt like they had- Oh, they want so bad for this game to be good. They want so bad that they're willing to reach for it. Okay. So in the wake of Ubisoft refusing to delay Star Wars Outlaws after massive complaints about graphics and AI detection, a new clip of the game has surfaced showing just how buggy and broken the game's AI direction and combat is. There it is. This is the same clip they showed. <laughs> As shared to social media by ex-user Manga Lawyer, a review of Star Wars Outlaws from, out, from IGN praises the game's blaster battles while showing a blaster battle that is completely broken. As seen in the video below, the game's main character, K Vess, is inside some kind of warehouse and is engaging in what looks to be the Pike Syndicate. She immediately unloads her pistol into one enemy, but it does not appear to kill the enemy. Instead, he appears to have a seizure and is only stunned. After the enemy recovers from the stun, it just stands there at point blank range instead of killing Vess. In fact, it actually turns and begins moving away from her. I mean, here we go. Pew. There it is. Stunned. Then it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> Look at it. So confused. Dude. There's really not I excuse for I'd this with where technology is, but they're putting all of the technology, I want to say, into cutscenes and stuff. But even so, the graphics are ugly. I don't know. I guess all of their budget is going toward a. Uh, the the hiring a bunch of queers i guess i guess queers are expensive because what is this it's ugly that's the thing is i i miss i so miss when games looked good like and you know it just says oh but so yes some games look good now but i'm just saying a lot of them are ugly we get better looking games from like ps2 and ps3 my brother, I was watching my brother play, uh, oh, I talked about this. Why am I forgetting? Folklore on PS3 not long ago. And it's like, wait a minute. Why are games not this pretty anymore? Hardly. So even look at this. This is, uh, so we have Brisk Kitty here who says, I had to explain at the start of my stream why I'm playing Final Fantasy X on a PS2 and exposed everyone to the sin that is Final Fantasy X's remaster. So yeah, it's like the PS2 version looks better than the remastered version. I feel like most games 
look better. PS2 era, PS3 era. I love PS2 era graphics. I mean, look at Devil May Cry 3, for example. But, and this. Look at how much charm it has. Look at how, how the faces, the, the details, it's not, like, it looks good. And then you have this, which he has a puffier face. It, you just lose all of the charm. You lose all of the character. And here's the thing is back when graphics were worse, they had to get really creative with art styles. <laughs> um, and not so much anymore. I mean, yeah. But now somebody did make a good point here. They like Dissidia's version of Titus, um, which I think actually looks good. Uh, this does look good. Uh, but yeah, but still with a lot of modern games... I mean, look at that. Um, but the look of modern games is ugly. And what we're seeing with Star Wars, now, obviously, again, not all of them, but what we see with, like, Star Wars Outlaws here, it's ugly. This is ugly. I would take PS2 graphics over this any day of the week, please. I mean... This just doesn't look good. I mean, even think about Ubisoft titles. Compare this to Beyond Good and Evil, the original Beyond Good and Evil, which looked better than this. Beyond Good and Evil, play it on GameCube, it's going to look better than this looks. Is it on a technical level, is graphically intensive? No, but it looked better. See, that's the thing about art. Is art, what makes art good isn't the technology. What makes art good is, is this aesthetically pleasing to the eye? And in this case, I would, I think Beyond Good and Evil is much more beautiful than this. And it's sad to see because Ubisoft was a company that made great games before. I loved Ubisoft whenever they were, I mean, the original Splinter Cell trilogy, especially. And even some after that, whenever it got worse uh it still wasn't it was still good it was especially compared to modern a lot of western modern games or ubisoft is french whatever they have different studios but you know what i mean the mainstream triple a not out of the east not out of uh, uh asia they uh they really have gotten the games have just gotten gone to crap but yeah, you know, you had Splinter Cell, you had Beyond Good and Evil, you had all kinds of good stuff from Ubisoft, you had a, a Rainbow Six, Vegas, so good, Ghost Recon, used to be really good, uh, even the earlier Assassin's Creed games, but now it just seems like Ubisoft has just taken a turn and what they're making is just doesn't look so good. Players have made it abundantly clear they were not impressed by the gameplay. It was received uh, over 95,000 dislikes compared to just 12,000 likes. I mean, that's insane. But that's, I mean, even with this trailer and, and what we saw in this, or, or this gameplay video, what we saw, to me, it just looked like, it looked like a mix of trying to be reboot Tomb Raider, but uglier. And, you know, I have my opinions about Reboot Tomb Raider. I don't think it's nearly as good as the classics. But even so, Reboot Tomb Raider will look better than this. Um, in I mean, Lara Croft, even in the Reboot games, looked better than this. Uh, now, granted, she doesn't look like Lara Croft, but she looks better than this. This is terrible. Oh, but, you know, I, well, we don't want all our characters to be pornographic. Yeah, neither do I. And characters like this are didn't look pornographic but i mean most people don't want to play as a character that is just dull and boring this is just bad character design it's not aesthetically pleasing look at somebody like mario from super mario is he hot no not all characters have to be objectively hot per se but you can make them aesthetically look good for the eye uh, and so if they wanted to make a tomboy character, great. You can still make a cute tomboy character. Instead, we have this. So anyway, yeah, this game looks like a giant trash fire. And Ubisoft doesn't appear to be in a very good place with what's going on with Assassin's Creed Shadows. That is probably going to tank. And I assume this will as well. So they're really going to have to do something different and better. And the fact that they are working on a re re remakes... A remake 
of like the Splinter Cell trilogy all in one. I don't know exactly how they're going about that, uh, but I, I don't feel good about it. As someone who's a big Splinter Cell fan, I, I am not, I do not feel good about the fact that they are making Splinter Cell right now. Don't feel good about it. Not this Ubisoft. We need, we need a big overhaul. We need to see them go back to the roots, hire a bunch of white and Asian dudes. Okay, nerds, hire them. Can we stop with the DEI hiring and all the queer hires that are incorporating all of this trash into gaming when they're not even gamers, most of them? They just want to play games with cutscenes and queer crap. But anyway, there you have it for this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. And if you'd like me to read the Bible to you, you can watch me on my Bible channel at Bible Time with Melanie Mack. Thank you all again for watching. I'll catch you next time. And in the meantime, go boom.